Hey guys, this is Victor from Vicry RC. Um, I just wanted to bring you guys the second build video for the tricopter that I'm busy working on at the moment. Ryan unfortunately isn't here to do the video with me as he is away, but um, I thought I'd just go ahead anyway. Um, with my tricopter here, I've, as you can see, mounted the arms onto it, onto the main plates, which are medium density fiber board that I picked up from the hobby shop for about I think it was three dollars for a big piece like this it's um, brown on the one side and white on the other but I just put the white towards the inside I don't know if you'll be able to see it but it's just in there um, I used these bolts and nuts which are a 3 16 bolt and nut by I believe it's five centimeters long. Let me just have a look at that. Uh, it looks to be about five and a half. But um, I kept the drill bit that I was using a bit smaller than the actual bolt because now the bolt has created like a thread in the wood so it pulls the top base plate tight onto it. Um, as you can see here, let's bring it closer. You can see I have washers there there and then another one over there for the swinging arms that I'm going to install you'll just have to undo that screw that screw and then because the washers are there it won't affect the nut and it should just fold down really nicely um, I'll get a video or a picture of or that later on but um, at the moment I'm just gonna be working on this tail boom issue that I have um, I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do the uh, tilt of the tail motor in order to create the gore to stabilize it. Um, for this tricopter, I'm going to be using my AR6200 6 channel receiver. It's a Spectrum receiver with my Spectrum DX6. Um, that should give me plenty of channels to mix and all that for the stabilization with the gyros and everything so yeah stay tuned guys thanks for watching